Hello everyone, it's Seaput Magur again here. In this Paint.net tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple flyer like this one here. This flyer design has a custom shape of banana leaf, a gradient background, some images, and some texts. If you wanna follow along with this tutorial, you can download the materials from the links that I put on this video's description. You also need to have the Boltbaits plugins pack installed on your Paint.net directory. Alright, let's get started. So first I'm gonna create a new image file of 1500s by 2100s pixels. Then I will copy the banana leaf image and paste it on a new layer which I'll name, banana leaf. I will move this banana leaf image to the left, as I will only use the right half of it. Now to create a custom shape from this banana leaf image, first create a new layer above the banana leaf layer. Then go to the toolbox panel and click the line or curve tool. On the line or curve tool options bar, select bezier and set the brush size to roughly the width of the custom shape we want to draw. Make sure the line style is flat, solid, flat, and the fill option is set to solid color. And now draw a custom shape image like this. Once you are happy with the shape, click finish on the tool options bar, or press enter on the keyboard. We'll use this shape as a template of the custom banana leaf shape. Now press Ctrl A on the keyboard to select the entire area of the custom shape layer. Then go back to the toolbox panel and click the magic wand tool. On the magic wand tools options bar, select subtract. Now click anywhere within the custom shape image so that we have a selection like this one. After that, go to the layers panel and select the banana leaf layer to apply this selection to it. Then simply press the delete key on the keyboard to cut off the selected area of the banana leaf image. To show the result, simply hide or delete the custom shape layer above it. The next step will be drawing the gradient background like the one shown here. To make the gradient background blends nicely with the banana leaf shape, we'll pick a color from the banana leaf shape and use it as the primary color of the gradient. So make sure the banana leaf layer is being selected and then go to the toolbox and click the color picker tool. Now click anywhere on the banana leaf to pick the desired color. As you can see here on the colors panel, the primary color changed as you pick a color. As for the secondary color, you can pick it either from the palette or from the color wheel for a start. You will still be able to adjust the secondary color and also the primary color for that matter later when you're drawing the gradient. Once the colors are both set, select the background layer and then go back to the toolbox panel. On the toolbox panel, click the gradient tool. On the gradient tools options at the top, I will select linear gradient type, and then draw the gradient background like this. As I mentioned just now, we can adjust the secondary color to get the desired gradient. Once you are happy with what you get, click finish on the tool options bar to finish the drawing. Now to make the banana leaf shape blends in nicely with the background, we'll add an outline and shadows along its right edge. To do that, first select the banana leaf layer, and then go to the menu bar and click Effects. On the Effects submenus, select Object, and then select Boltbait's Outline Object. On the Boltbait's Outline Object dialog, make sure the outline color is set to black. Then set the outline width to 2, and the blur radius to the maximum value of 100. Then click OK to confirm. So here it is, the main design of our flyer. Now we can add all the images and texts on top of the background layer and below the banana leaf layer. So let's start with adding the image of the main dish. To make the image blends in nicely with the background, we'll add an outline and shadows along its edges. But this time, we'll set the width to 1 and blur radius to 50. You can repeat these steps to add the remaining images. Now the final step is adding the texts. To do that, we'll create a dedicated layer for each line of text so that we have more freedom to style them as desired. Let's start with adding the cafe name at the top of the flyer. 
So add a new layer, and then go to the Toolbox panel and click the Text Tool. On the Text Tools options at the top, you can select the font face and set its size accordingly. You may also want to set its style and alignment if desired. As for the text color, I'll set it to white by changing the primary color to white. Again, to make it blend in with the background, I'll add outline and shadow to this text. You can repeat these steps for other lines of texts. Alright, so here it is, our flyer for the Banana Leaf Cafe. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.